Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of It's one of the odd nights tonight it could be Laylatul Qadr and charity should be one of the worships that we are doing why not donate to one ummah they have a 100% donation policy and they are helping 15 countries that have been poverty stricken link in the description below so Mr Beast he is without a doubt the biggest youtuber on the planet he has a net worth of about 500 million dollars but it is not Mr Beast that's in question today rather it is his right hand man Chris Tyson. So Chris is somebody who is married and has a child as well but he has recently come out as bisexual and gender non-conforming and for months he has been taking hormone replacement therapy. So some people they compared pictures of him before and now and they were saying what's going on and that's when he came out and said well I'm trans mate. So what was interesting here was somebody posted a video of Chris becoming a nightmare for Mr Beast and he stood up for his friend as you should but then he went on to say he, that he's getting tired of the transphobia <laughs> which is ironic because his very comment is misgendering his friend. He called him a he. According to many trans activists that's misgendering somebody and is regarded as transphobic. So that was a bit of an own goal. There's one thing backing your friend up but there's another thing that's totally disregarding the effect that this is going to have. Yes this is a grown man and it's their choice all that sort of stuff however what's interesting are his views about kids. As you can see this tweet regarding lolly or lolly however you want to say it it's to do with eroticism and kids allegedly. Here he is pointing towards the attractiveness of a four year old and of course here he is then it seems that it's an Instagram story of his allegedly his child is wearing girls shoes and he's taken a picture and posted it as if this is something to be proud of whether he's influencing it or not what can be said. But what's also interesting is here you can see him at the Nickelodeon Choice Awards. So Nickelodeon is a channel for kids mate. You can see him with Mr Beast. So one cannot deny the influence that they have on kids. I've been a primary school teacher and I know kids know who Mr Beast is and they love him. In fact he's been non-divisive in the sense that he's apolitical, very entertaining and very kid friendly frankly and it's because of that that he has been doing well. However now when it comes to his friend I do understand people saying that look if he totally disregarded his friend he would have been called a transphobe. If he accepts his friend then again that's an issue as well because you know we all know Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe here he is with kids. Well pretty much he's saying people should just take what you say. There are also people who do have like a slightly condescending but well-meaning attitude of like well people are young and like how do we you know that is a huge decision. I'd love to hear from all of you about like why we can trust kids to like tell us who they are. I'm only 11 years old. How but people don't take what kids say when it comes to politics. Their opinion is not valued enough when it comes to the running of this country, when it comes to driving they're not allowed, when it comes to many other things they are simply not deemed competent. In fact the irony is kids cannot even pick their own curfews and their own bedtime. How on earth are you allowing them now to pick their genders? And now <laughs> those people that were saying it's a conspiracy you know why do you keep bringing kids into it? Why do you keep bringing kids into it? The conversation is now being directed towards kids because let's face it number one they are the next generation and number two they are easily impressionable and they're the ones that can change. Well I mean their parents are going to have to change with this sort of mentality otherwise we saw with Jeffrey Marsh and they encourage no contact. This has become a thing now cutting off ties with your parents. A'udhu billah the sort of things that are being normalized. In fact anybody who speaks against it is regarded as a transphobe. JK Rowling, yes yeah, she's speaking up for women's rights because the LGBT do encroach on women's rights as well. She's been regarded as a transphobe, she has this game that came out on PS5. People were saying whoever plays it, well some people were saying whoever plays it is a transphobe. Why? Because she's involved and now even with the TV series 
there is a concerted effort to make sure that she is not involved. So this LGBT lobby, in fact Chris Tyson himself, look allegedly he posted this before a shooting took place you know of, of Christians by a uh, LGBT individual but look at the language he's using. He's got a little gun at the end saying hey don't mess with the trans gang. This is turning into something really concerning and also guys those that don't subscribe to a religion more specifically Islam because let's face it the other religions don't cut it when it comes to this yeah. Where are you going to stop? Islam we have morality that comes from God Allah. He tells us do this, don't do that, okay it's clear, it's objective. But when you say no no morality is subjective mate, it's up to you, it's up to what damage it can cause to the society, hey as long as you don't hurt people. Well the, the irony here is that's exactly what you're doing by asking a child to chop. I mean they make fun of the circumcision, you're chopping the whole thing off mate. <laughs> so somebody says that look I don't care, Chris can identify as whatever he wants a pogo stick, penguin, a girl or a boy, okay cool. Alright fair enough, it's now affecting his kid. You say no no that's him, that's, that's private or whatnot. Okay now it's affecting his wife because although the pair haven't come out and said that look we're separate but there's rumours to say that they are separate because ever since Chris came out as a bisexual. I mean how do you know you're bisexual without having an affair? I mean come on let's, let's let's be real but again who knows yeah it's conjecture. Some people are saying they're together, some people are saying they're not, I mean who knows but it's affecting the wife regardless yeah. No 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 that's his wife, and it's going to women now. So we've moved from the individual subjective, then we moved on to the kid, then we move on to the wife, then you're saying no 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 it's alright. Okay then his influence with regards to other kids, Nickelodeon, Mr Beast, no 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 leave it leave it. Okay now there are other kids that are taking puberty blockers, they're now, they are now taking hormone replacement therapy, now it's affecting your next door neighbour, it's affecting the, the kids on the street. What about now? It's affecting society. I mean where do you draw the line? That's the problem with atheism, it's about subjectivism, yeah? Me, individualism, me, materialism, what I want, yeah? And that's not useful for a productive society. Atheism is causing, I mean look, when you say like Nietzsche said God is dead and then somebody else said look it's not that God is dead, it's that man will turn anything into an object of worship and worship it. That's the problem. We are God, God is change, God is trans, we are trans. <laughs> anything goes now and that's what we're seeing with products that are, be, that are being sold by these corporations and companies because they are jumping onto that fact that they are like the lone sheep that has come off the group and can be devoured easily by the many wolves that are laying in wait. So guys if this does not motivate you to learn more about your religion and to be very cautious with your kids not to allow them to watch stuff by themselves, really be I would say police what they are watching, who they're meeting and what's going on, you have to be more involved. And there's a knock on effect, the only way you can do that is by being economically independent, so you have to get into that entrepreneurial mindset as well. So a lot of these things are interconnected but the point is guys invest in yourself, yeah because if you are not sturdy yeah then nothing around you will be sturdy. Let's leave it there guys until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.